Number 8, Panic Escape, figure 2.24 shows a general situation in which a stream of people attempt to escape through an exit door that turns out to be locked. The people move toward the door at a speed of 3.5 meters per second and are each 0.25 meters in depth and are separated by 1.75 meters. The arrangement in figure 2.24 occurs at time t equal to zero. Letter A. At what average rate does the layer of people at the door increase? Letter B. At what time does the layer's depth reach 5 meters? The answers reveal how quickly such a situation becomes dangerous. So in order to understand what's happening here and answer letter A, let's make a draw so you can understand the answer. So that's the path. Let's say this is the door. So this is the first person over here represented by this blue line. This is the second person, and this is the third. Sorry, this is the third person. Okay, so this distance over here is L, right? So this distance is L, and this distance over here is D. Small D over here. Okay, so let's see what happens when the first person reaches the door. Okay, so when the first person travels the distance L, it reaches the door. So the first person is here. And the second person walks by L as well. So it reaches this position over here. So now the second person in, is in this position and the third person is in this position over here. Okay, so now the second person has to travel L to reach the first person. So this is L as well. So when that happens, the second person, it's here. This is the first person. This is the second person. And the third person is in this position over here. So the third person has to travel L to reach the end of the, the layer, right? So this is L. So what we can notice by this draw over here, we can notice that when someone travels L, the distance L, when someone someone travels 1.75 meters, the layer increases by D, 0.25 meters. So we know that when someone uh, run for 1.75 meters, the layer increases 0.25 meters. So the rate, the rate of increases would be 0.25 meters divided, so let's call it D, divided by the time a person takes to run 1.75 meters. So we need to find the time it takes for one person to run 1.75 meters. This would be delta t. So that would be the rate of increase. So we have to find the time it takes for one person to run 1.75 meters. We can find it by using that v is equal to delta x over delta t. We know that the velocity is 3.5. We want to find delta t, so it would be equal to delta x over delta t. Delta x is 1.75 and, uh, sorry, that's not correct, this should be delta v, right? this should be v, right? Delta x over v, uh, the velocity is 3.5, so delta t is equal to 0 0.5 seconds. Okay, so we know that every 0 0.5 seconds, the layer increases by 0 0.25 meters, so the rate is 0. 25 over 0 0.5 or this making this calculation over here this is equal to 0 0.5 meters per second so that's the rate of increase of the layer every second it increases 0 0.5 meters okay so that's the answer of letter a letter b for letter b 
at what time does the layer's depth reach 5 meters? That's pretty simple because we know that every second the layer increases 0 0.5 meters. So we, if we want 5 meters, we need 10 seconds. So the answer of letter B is 10 seconds. If you want to make some calculations, you could just use this equation over here. So R equal to D over delta T. So the layer, so now this time, this D over here is the length of the layer of people. So it be R times delta T, which is uh, rather, we want to isolate delta T, right? So delta T is equal to D over R. So we want a layer of five meters and the rate is 0 0.5. So this is equal to 10 seconds. So that's how you find the answer doing some calculations. And that's it.